What's up guys and welcome back to Factorio. In this episode I think I'm going to get construction bots uh, a go. Do I have some in the system already? I have 10 construction bots in the system. I have a blueprint which allows me, to, you know, tells the construction bots to get some work done. But as you know from this blueprint the requirements are inserters and basically it's this, right? So I need to be able to make passive provider chest and requester chest and quick inserters smart inserters and assembly machines and power lines. Now what I've done already is, since I've got this robo port up here, I have added the passive provider, the regular inserters into a provider chest and the conveyor belts into a provider chest. Now I can also quick inserters, are they in range? They are in range now so I can put this into a provider chest. But you know since I'm using so many provider chests every time and I'm also going to need them right here. I thought it'd be kind of cool just to have right away a provider chest. So this one already gets some red circuits. I know provider chests. Yeah, provider chest needs red circuits. And it needs uh, a smart chest. I think it's one of each, right? One smart chest, one red circuit. So we'll, we'll boost this up to, you know, 60. And we'll need to add smart chests to the mix. Now smart chests need a bunch of crap too. We'll put this down to 10. 10 smart chests. Right? And we'll work this baby out when it's got 10. Less than work when it's less than 10 in here. So put a constant of 10 set. Alright. So we kind of have just basically what, what this is is the constant storage of 10 chests here is what I need. Right, uh, another thing I'll need are, you know, these smart chests need to be built, and they are steel chests and electronic circuits. Alright, well, steel chests are steel plates only. Right, that's something I can build. Uh, so let's put down another blueprint, even though the robots can't build it yet, I don't think. Pretty sure they can't build it yet. Unless I start putting some smart chests into that chest over there but I don't think so one what what is it I need a lot of iron plates let me grab some iron plates here and might as well grab some copper and whatever else I just grabbed two of these and we're gonna need more of these we're gonna need a ton of crap also um, I don't have personal logistics on me yet don't I do I Maybe I should do that. Follower robot count. Here, com character logistics slots. Let's let's research this because that way I can always tell the logistic bots to bring stuff to me as well. Very very cool and nifty. Right, one, two, and we'll need to make a blue chest uh, which needs steel. I, I kind of feel like just going upstairs to the big steel box there, but. Yeah, we'll grab we'll grab the steel from here. All right, a blue chest. We got the red chest. Getting stuck. Place down the red chest, which you know provides. Interesting enough. I, I got this uh, upside down for some reason. You can act. Yeah, it's cool. I kind of forgot you can rotate them. I didn't know I, I rotated it. Uh, but I rotated it. Alright, let's get the quickie inserters uh, from there out. And we need the smart inserters to go into the chests. And we need a regular power pole. There we go. My assembly is done again. Alright, what do we need for... We need one to make smart chests, basically. So this one makes smart chests. In the requester chest, we need... It's one of each, isn't it? One and uh, three electronic circuits. So let's put in for electronic circuits, not 200, but let's make it 30. And for chests, steel chests, we'll need not 50, but three, 10. Yeah. 10, 10 steel chests. And this one only work when there are, uh, let's, let's put this at 10. Yep, so it's making basically 10 smart chests. Now smart chests also need the steel chest, so I get this one to make steel chests. 
steel chest, which require just steel. And I think I have a box supplying steel there, so I can request steel. How much steel does it need? Steel chest, eight. So let's go for more resist. Let's go for 80 steel plates. Eight zero. Why? Why for that? Correct. Eighty. Well, let's yeah, eighty. I was gonna leave it at hundred for a bit, but eighty is good. Okay. You only work if there are steel chests uh, less than ten. One double clicky ten. Set. Right. So now basically smart chests are being made and steel chests are being made. Now there's going to be robots putting them in this chest and then boom, they're making little provider chests for me there. I can take these out and I can start placing them. Let's put one right on here. Where else? I think we're good for basically our regular production around here. And this is out of range. Be cool to have these bullets into a provider chest. Uh, what I'm going to build is uh, all of these storage chests. Instead of, well, I'm going to grab some red circuits before I do that. Let's stand here. Grab some of these red circuits. Make all of these chests. Just going to have a little storage area, and it'll help with the. It'll. Uh, it's good for bots to put shit away. So five of these boxes. So if the logistic bots have nowhere to put it, they can dump it in the storage chest here. And they'll take it out from there if, if they uh, use the stuff again. But look at them go. My little robots. Playing around. How are we doing for power, by the way? D demand satisfaction is good. Anyway, this is so much fun. Construction bots. Right now, yeah. Um, let's get rid of these turrets. Let's get another one of these setups right here. So we're making the provider chests. We need the requester chest made. Look at that. Construction bots put this one down because it's available. It's the only one available. Oh no wait, it put, it put the blue inserters down because those are available too. Nice. So we got a little bit of uh, construction work and now we just need a little bit more manual labor. For example, we need these uh, blue factories need to be able to be made. Which looks like green circuits, gears, and copper wire. I don't know if I have copper wire anywhere. I might just make a, a manual factory for, let's say, smart inserters this way and this way, and one blue chest. Which, what am I missing now? More steel? Let's just grab some steel from this box. Blue chest. Okay, let's look. To make these uh, assembly machine twos, we need assembly machine ones. Ah, the research. Uh... Logistics trash lots. That's kind of interesting. You know what? Let's just go for this one. Character logistics is good. See, now I have this logistics on me, so I can always request crap. So I'll be like, all right, robots, I need always a minimum of so many items or so many items. And then these robots will bring them to me, just like they're bringing them to these chests. Uh, but for now, I'm okay. For now, I'm okay with this. Uh, what I kind of want to do, yeah, is set up the factory. So this requires an assembly machine, gears, circuits, and plates. And this is gears, uh, circuits, and plates. So we need a lot of gears, circuits, and plates for for gears, circuits, plates, gears, circuits, plates, and the old one. Let me think. It's probably easier if I get it kind of set up like a... Uh, like a regular factory, you know, just making gears and... Hmm. Alright, well... Well, well, you know what, let's just, uh, let's skip that step. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, we'll need to have these... Um, this is making red chests, we need to make the blue chests. 
So the blue chests require smart smart chests. Let's put it at ten. And uh, what was it? Smart chest and red circuits. Yeah, I, sh I, I could have remembered that. It hasn't changed much in the in the last uh, whatever. And these items are also already in the network, so that's really convenient. Set this to 10. There we go. So now blue chests are being made. Very good. Uh, I think smart inserters, are, are they being made yet? I think they, um, they're being made here, but not being put into a chest. So perhaps, perhaps I should split off from here and how, how close are we? Ah, we we got plenty of space. Let's put these into a chest also. Provider chest. And let's get some power to this guy. There we go. There we go. Now we have, and also let's limit this. I don't want to go crazy. So now we have the green inserters in, in, a, in a provider chest. Uh, we have blue inserters in a provider chest. We have yellow inserters in provider chest. We have conveyor belts in a, in a provider chest. The engines, did I put them in provider chest yet? No, let's though. Provider chest, I have them here. Boom, boom. Did that keep the same? That's nice. So let's put this one up to a whole first, allowed to make the whole first row and this, make that. There we go. Got a lot of crap in the, in the network. Look at that. 4,000 green circuits, negative one red, no, no red circuits anymore. We got 600 yellow inserters, 1,000 blue inserters, 10 logistic bots of each. We got a bunch of engines. We got one RoboPort. Yeah, I might need to double up on this red circuit production or, or see if I can uh, work out something here. Because I think this factory is not working at all. All right, let's, let's skip the research for now getting in the way again this factory barely works well they do work but I mean they're not getting taken out fast enough let's see if it stops working at all it's still working it's good no no it's fine it works yeah we might we might need to just because I think it's not that hard to just double up this whole line system Split off, I don't know. And move this assembly down a bit. Use long inserters. Yeah, we'll figure something out later. Or maybe uh, maybe I'll work something out in between episodes. Kind of double up on the production of red circuits. Right, guys, I'm going to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I got all this way and then I screwed up. It doesn't matter. Because it's it's live. It's almost it's not even live. It's it's whatever. Uh, this has been it. This has been it for today. I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed it, please remember to click the like button and be subscribed to see more like this in the future. This has been Ralph Blaine Factorial, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.